right, kids. Family meeting. Stephen Detta clapped his hands in excitement. We need to talk about this year's summer vacation. Oh, let's go to Hawaii, Julius cheered. That way, I can look fabulous on the beach. I want to go to Disneyland, the little boy beamed. No way, Maya said. We should definitely go to Ninja Training Camp. The others turned and stared. What? Maya asked, confused. Before Julius could comment, however, their father pulled four tickets from his pocket. Actually, we're going to Canada! The weather was beautiful, the water calm, and the ocean liner was enjoying one of the smoothest sailings it had ever had. Unfortunately for Maya, that didn't stop her from getting seasick. Julius, of course, wasted no opportunity to torment her. How are you holding up there, sis? he asked. She shivered. Ugh, why did Dad insist on taking a ship ugh, across the stupid ocean? Julius laughed. You're just mad because you get seasick. Too bad. It's beautiful out there. All that water, water everywhere. Maya groaned. Hey guys, come look out the window, the little boy called. Look how beautiful the sky is. Wait, what's that? he asked, looking out the window. The boy could see something off in the distance. Looking closer, he realized it was land. There, up ahead, was port number two, where they were scheduled to stop. The boy jumped up and down in excitement. We made it, he cried. Port number two! Maya tried to cheer, but only succeeded in making herself sick. Fortunately for her, though, their arrival meant she was free to leave the ship. She collapsed on the deck in relief. Julius slumped down beside her, still depressed about Hawaii, and the boy and their father started to make plans. All right, where should we go? Ooh, I know. How about... Igloo Village! Igloo Village was a popular destination point for vacationers, as it contained nearly every stereotype known. The little boy was entertained upon arrival. That is, until he saw something rather strange and a bit frightening. Um, what is that thing? he asked. That thing is a cow, Stephen explained. As they watched, a man picked it up and carried it to a nearby temple. Um, is that guy carrying that cow? Julius asked. Well, it's a special cow, said his father. It probably lives there. Eventually, everyone split up and Julius found himself alone. People here are weird, he thought. What is that girl wearing? As he thought this, he heard a familiar scream that sent chills up his spine. He turned and ran towards his sister's voice. When he found her, she was sobbing on the ground. Maya, what happened? he asked. They... they... they call this a gym? she shrieked. You're an idiot, Julius said. Did you even read the sign? Nearby. Two men were chopping down a tree, making room for the new gym that was to be built there, and working to improve their bodies at the same time. While Maya and Julius were arguing, Stephen and the little boy were admiring the local wildlife. Stephen Ochi-chan, look at this cute bird, said the little boy. Stephen grinned. That's called a quail. They're cute, but really dumb. The little boy giggled, but as his stomach rumbled, he realized he was hungry. If you're hungry... Then let's find a place to eat, said Stephen. All right, kids, let's go. The group searched for a while, but eventually they decided it would be best to make something themselves.